Um, <coughs> excuse me. Hi YouTube, this is the computer whiz. I'm just showing off um, my reviewing my Hornets hat collection and my two Bobcats hats. I got a bunch of Charlotte Hornets hats. I got one Oklahoma City and a couple New Orleans. Because you know, uh, I mean, the other NBA Hornet teams are Oklahoma City and New Orleans Hornets. Have to have at least one from each of them. <coughs> but anyways, to start off my very first Charlotte Hornets hat is a vintage Puma one. My mom just got me this for Easter. It's got a little stain on it. Yeah. I don't take stickers on my hats, but I did when I first got it because that was me. Yep, it's worn out. Beaten up, stains. I don't know, it's an NBA official license product. I don't know exactly what year it's from or whatever, but it's my first Charlotte Hornets hat, so I thought I felt like somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's Puma Main Bang Man. <laughs> and then here's another one. It's not an early one. Look, I didn't get this a long, long time ago. I got this sometime this year, I forget, like February or something. But it was here's like from 1998 to 2001, whatever year that's from, is from those years. Got off eBay. Shout out to, I forget who sold this to me, but shout out to them. It's Vintage New Era. You see, he's even got the stitching in between, the teal stitching in between the white flag. And it's got NBA official license sticker. I love this sticker. That is the coolest damn sticker. But anyways, sorry for that. Here's the Hornet logo. The snap is a little different, but, <laughs> you know. Is new era. Love that tag. <laughs> you know, I want to get a finished new era fitted hat. Well, anyways, sticker. I mean, tag. But I want to get a finished new era fitted that has the brown and black sticker that says it's not a cap, it's a flag. But I can't never find any of those that I want or that's in my size, so I'm just not. But someday I'll have one. But those stickers are cool looking. I want one of those new eras. But. Uh, Here's another one I picked up like I forget when but it's a game of blues Sean Hornets strap back I mean <coughs> I don't normally get strap backs it's my only strap back well no it's not but it was, it's my only flat belt strap back my other's just like you know those regular low profile strap back hats that are common like promo hats or anyways that everyone else wears but <coughs> This is my only new era strap back. I don't have any Mitchell this for some brand either, but um, there's a snapback in Gamma Blues, but I don't really like the sh like it's got a shiny black bill and I don't really like it. I like the strap back look better. It's got the Hornet logo. It's got that little shiny whatever plastic material and bill I guess, and it's got that. It's got that Hornet. And uh, I just got it for the looks. I don't have Gamma Blues. I'm not planning on getting any Gamma Blues and spending $200, $150 on shoes. <laughs> no. But I did find something else to match it. And no, it's not clothing. And I'm a basketball car collector, so I custom my. I made this custom card. I printed it off on cardstock. It's supposed to be a 1994 to 95 Skybox Charlotte Hornets team card. I edited this in Photoshop and printed it off. But that's the 94 to 95 Skybox Charlotte Hornets team card design to match this hat. As you can see. <laughs> yep. I felt like making it. There's no point in making it back. But then here's this Malik Rose card. The reason why you see, it's got this, this iPhone camera, it's got this um, blue and black Hornets logo, and it goes and matches that blue and black one. If I can somehow get this to angle up, y'all can see. It's evening, so it's dark. Sorry. Well, um, let me see. Yeah, if you can barely see the Hornet logo, it matches with the other Hornet logo. And the Hornet logo is right. Yeah, it's right on top, and then below is 
I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. Man. I got basketball cards to match my uh, hat. <laughs> Who you know? Who you know got a basketball team logo card to match their hat? Huh? No, I bet nobody. I challenge somebody to make a basketball card that matches the colorway of one of their hats. I challenge somebody to do that. A team logo card, basketball card, and show it to me, please. Uh, this is the only hat I got at DTLR store in Baltimore, Maryland. I looked the lids, but in there, but I didn't have no money, so. I got this on sale, fifteen dollars. <coughs> uh, it's pretty cool. It's not my favorite anymore, but back then, at the time, I only bought snapbacks because fitted the out grown quicker. So I was smart. I thought I was. I thought I was all smart getting snapbacks instead of fits. Basically, nowadays, if I f if I find a snapback, if I see a fitted I like, I might get it. But if I find a snapback version, I might get that before. Well, that's how it used to be, and that's kind of how it is now. But it's miserableness. <laughs> now, I've really never shopped at DTLR, but but pretty much miserableness. See, the NBA sticker. I keep my NBA stickers on my miserableness hats, even when they're worn out. But um, <coughs> yeah, basically, pretty much. I don't. I didn't shop much at DTLR. I just. If there's a store that has hats, I go by and shop there if I have enough money and I'm looking to buy a hat. Basically, it doesn't matter what the store, as long as they have the, and really to me, I don't care about the brands. I mean, sometimes I'm specific and sometimes I'm not, but I'm not specifically a fitted or snapback. Well, I'm more of a snapback person, but I love fitted a lot too. And I don't really care much about the brand as long as it's, anyways. Here's another one. My grandma actually got this for me for like a birthday or something off <coughs> um, the Lids website. I saw this in the stock at South Park Mall Lids. Didn't really want it, but then later on I wanted to get it and it was gone, so got this online Lids store. She must have took it off stickers because they ain't, aren't on there. But it's Sean Hornets, Poison Brain. And I'll get to. That's the reason why I wanted it, the underbrim. It's got the cool hornet. That's why I want it. It's got the tagging. It's got. And I don't do much talk. It's 47 brand tags. I don't really do much talking videos because I think my voice sounds kind of country, southern, and <laughs> kind of stupid recording. But, anyways. I guess y'all don't care, but, and here's one of my favorites. I got this on the Lids website because that's the only place I can find it. Besides shop.newerocap.com, they sell about the same stock as Lids website. But <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, sorry, I got allergies. It's a <coughs> Charlotte Hornets straight cash fitted. It's about six different straight cash fitteds. They're all NBA, like Dallas Mavericks, New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls, and uh, Miami Heat and Toronto Raptors. And Charlotte Hornets. I think that's it. Yeah, but you got your hundred dollar bills. Ah, man, I love this hat. Yeah, it's a shiny, real nice green and silver. Shiny, shiny logo Hornet. And now what I want to do? Let's see. New Era is the only brand I know that actually has the official Harbor Classics sticker. They actually make that official. That's what I love to see. My hat size is 7 3 4 7 and 5 8 or 7 and 7 8. But I try to stick it to 7 3 4 so it's just right. But, see, hold on. I want to, what I want to do is, I want to, if I ever go on the prices right, I want to wear this hat and it's obvious. Or, another thing, I want to go inside a big old nice federal bank. And just rock this hat and wear it inside a nice federal bank like in Washington, D.C. Like the Federal Reserve or something. And just wear this hat. I don't know why. Yeah, I do. It's just money thing. I just feel like... <laughs> Man, I, I do love this hat. New Era 7 and 3 4 size. It's kind of loose fitted. But, but, hey. That's fine. I can grow into it more. I love that hat. That is... One of my all-time favorites. 
Um, and here's, I got this at, at a Delaware outlet lids. I was at the beach in Delaware with fam, seeing family up there. Nice long week. I loved that trip. But anyways, it's a uh, winter camo. I wore this on a lot of my scout cabin trips because it's my only camo hat. I wore this a lot in the winter because it's obvious because it's winter camouflage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good for a Navy SEAL in the winter. I don't know. It's for Sim brand. Sorry. And then there's the Hornets on the back. The camo. You already know there's tags. Tags. It's cool how you do a little pixel Hornet mosaic thing on the stitching on the tags. I like that one too. It's not one of my all time favorites, but it surely is one I'm going to keep. I keep every one in my house. Most of the time. This one is an old one. I, it's my second, one of my first two uh, from South Park Lids, one of my first two flat bill hats, really flat bill snapbacks. Um, Mitchell Ness, Charlotte Hornets. Um, there's a story behind it, I'll tell it later. Well, not a story behind it, but Mitchell Ness, Harbor Classics. <laughs> funny story. Well, not, not funny, but. <coughs> I wore this a lot to school. Oh, it had an NBA sticker, but that's gone. Oh, that was thunder outside. Anyways, the NBA sticker's gone because I wore this hat a lot in school. I was the only person who wore this in school. But one day, on the day before Thanksgiving break, um, 2013, my junior year, I left this in my English class. I left this on my desk, went to go use the restroom. I came back. Then I watched a little movie, got in, into that, and then at the end of class, I realized, <gasps> my hat's gone. And so um, I asked the teacher, she asked anyone, could see if anyone had it, nobody answered, of, of course. It got stolen, it got sold, and so then later on that year, I saw somebody wearing the same hat, well, really my hat, I didn't think so. I didn't really have the courage to ask if it, if I could have it back or whatever. But I told him I got the same one and I got it stolen and and he said, dang man it sucks. But anyways then later on early uh, 2000 and 2013 on my senior year early in my senior year <coughs> um, I saw some of that kid wearing it and so I asked him how much he went from it, and I was stupid, and I said I paid $25 for this, and, and man, I was stupid, I should have said 15 or something, but anyways, next day, I bought the hat back, and I have my hat back, so it's been stolen, it's been on the selling train, it's been going from different people, being sold a lot, probably, when I first got this at Lids, the guy at Lids suggested I get this because he said it was a real hot hat. It was real popular. And it is. Well, I think it is because you can only find the purple and teal bill in this online. I've never, I challenged somebody to have find this hat. I've only seen this hat on eBay and then a very long time ago on the Lids website. But uh, I challenged somebody to show, to find this hat and show it to me because... I've never seen a, another one of these black versions. I've only seen the purple version. You can find those anywhere. But you can't find the black ones anywhere. I challenge somebody to find this. <laughs> yeah, that's my story. I'm glad I got it back. Here's another one for my birthday again. My uh, 2013. This is my first New Era hat. My first New Era Hornets hat. Shawn Hornets. That back, yeah. I keep the sticker on though, it's kind of slicing. Then, if I can find it, um, that little stain right there that's a cake icing stain the same day on my birthday. <laughs> I got a little cake. Icing. Then there's the Harwood Classic sticker, I still leave it on even though it's all messed up looking. <laughs> Uh, on the Mitchell Ness one, I left the sticker on until it started coming seeing With my hats, I leave the stickers on until they just fall off. Harbor Classics. 
<laughs> this is uh, one of my favorite. This is one of kind of favorite of my kind of favorites because it's one of my first ones. We had these kind of worn out and sweated out because I did wear this. I wore this a lot on cab rides and stuff with my scout troop, but I won that one the most a lot. Of course, it's my first one. Here's another one. I I not I wouldn't really get these kinds today with the big logos, but it's Charlotte Hornets, Forty Seven Brands got um, Hornets on the side. I got so many Hornets hats. <laughs> and it's got the Hornet there. <laughs> And it's got green in the brim, it's got tagging, but at least everyone, everyone has at least one Hornets hat in their collection, is what I found. And I found they always get the same type of styles, either like vintage dead stock snapbacks, or the same type of Mitchell and Ness or New Era ones. I look in, on YouTube and stuff, and I'm seeing people getting the same type, but I don't have any of those types, except for one of them, you'll see. But I got this... Not not too long ago, like a month ago or something. But I always wanted, I always saw this in line, and I never really wanted it. But then I thought I might go ahead and get it. Uh, I like it. It's a Sean Hornets, but I like it because it looks like a New Orleans Hornets with purple and gold. That's their color. It's Mitchell Ness. It's got some type of like velvet, like foil, suave, or I don't know what you call this material, like velvet or something. But it's like the material where, anyways, it's Mitchell Ness, it's like a maroonish, I don't know what you call it. And it's NBA Sean Hornets, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if this is a Harvard Classics or if it's NBA officially licensed. Because it's NBA Sean Hornets. So if somebody can tell me if this is officially licensed or not, that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, here's one I got a long time ago, the stick came off. <laughs> Actually, funny thing, before I go and show you all 360, 720 view of that hat. These two hats in camping trips are um, in two different camping trips. Them two hats got soaked wet out from the rain, that's why they don't have the stickers on them anymore but they just got soaking wet and that's like, I forget where, this is Mount Rogers they both got soaking wet in rain and they dried up their brand new this guy, I took it to Crouch Mountain it went to a snowstorm a winter wonderland snowing and it's still brand new. Why? Because I put it in my backpack and carried it down the trail that way so the snow wouldn't get all wet and soggy and stuff. And it's brand spanking new looking still. Funny story. And for these two hats, I'm just going right back to the car when they got soaked. And so, yeah. <laughs> Kind of bad time. I didn't, couldn't really put them up anywhere. Charlotte Hornets, Charlotte Hornets under brim. That's why I got it. It's cool. Is this? And then Charlotte Hornets Mitchell Ness got this uh, Marshalls eight bucks on sale. Marshalls has the stuff when you can find it. They got all sorts of nice cool stuff. I like Marshalls a lot. <laughs> when you can... Then here's another one. They had these two on sale. Eight bucks. <laughs> yes, I'm just resuming the video got cut off because my iPhone data thing. But anyways, yeah, that's the two Marshalls hats I was showing off. It's a teal and purple brim under brims. <laughs> funny thing, this is like Cadillac teal. It's funny but weird, but anyways. <laughs> and that's just regular purple. I'm not wearing this hat outside too much, 
if I didn't say before, I'm not wearing this. I'm not wearing this hat outside at all, really. I've worn it inside, but not outside. I need to start wearing this. Doesn't matter if it's purple and it's kind of like Cadillac and turquoise. Wait, I'll get that there. This, my mom actually got me this. She didn't know the size, but it's uh, for three to eight year olds. But he's got Sean Hornet signatures. I'm thinking I might sell this on eBay and I might not. Hornet Hats fan is my eBay or Hornet or Hornet Hat Hornet Hats fan or Hornet's Hat fan. Yeah, Hornet Hats fan. I think is yeah. Hornet Hats Hornet H A T S fan. That's my eBay thing, I think. So check out my items on eBay. I got the Keldra Pickle Bob head on there, but um, Sean Hornet's head. I might sell this and I might not. I'm debating because this thing can't fit me, so I never wear it. It's still got tags. As you can see, it's the G cap. I've got another G cap head I'm getting to right about now. That's part of my vintage hair collection. I might sell that one though. If I do. Well, anyways, the only reason why I bought this because everybody has this hat. But <laughs> it's Hornets. Well, that's not the only reason, but I'll get to the other reason. Charlotte. Hornets. Charlotte on the back. Green under brim. It's G Cap quality since 1920. I mean, not 1920, it's new era. Since 1903. <laughs> it's an NBA fish product. The reason why, another reason why I bought it, because I got a Wu Tang Killer Bees hat that is just matches this. It's Wu Tang's got the B. <coughs> it's like a black and blue, teal and purple, and, I mean black and yellow, teal and purple, and the red and black and yellow. I think I can only find black and yellow and teal and purple on eBay. I don't even think I can find you can find this anymore, but it's Wu Tang. I'm not really a Wu-Tang person, but you know I had to get this because it's matching the Sean Hornets. Uh, I like the clothing brands that impersonate, like, sports team and NBA logos. And, <coughs> so, like, the Wu-Tang did Bulls, and Denver Nuggets, they did Miami Dolphins, and other stuff, but anyways... <laughs> Like New York City had, there was met, there was impersonating Denver Nuggets. But anyway, says Charlotte Hornets picked this up from the Bobcat store. Everybody in the Bobcats arena has this hat. It's a new Adidas Charlotte Hornets snapback. Wham! Well, Hornets. That's cool. Man, you know what I want to do? I want to get a shot. I cannot wait till the new Charlotte Hornets draft hats come out. That's gonna be awesome. I bet. Whatever they go, whatever they look like, I'll get one. No matter what they look like. <coughs> but uh, here focus. It's, I um, uh, lost my train of thought. That's the tags. <laughs> I know that was. But anyways, oh yeah, I thought that's kind of interesting. That's got there. Oh yeah, Adidas. I'm not sure on the insides, but hey, yeah, it's the new. That's the new Hornet, that's the new primary Hornet logo. Yeah, the sticker's starting to peel off. Anyways, you can tell, you can notice the stitching on the strings. Oh, yeah, it's got the Adidas logo. But, right. here's another one I picked up a while back at the Bobcats store a long time ago. Well, uh, actually, I didn't. I think my grandmother got me this one, too. I was with my cousin Wes getting this. It's Buzz City. There's a teal and purple version, and this black, and then there's, I think, a teal one, maybe, or a white one. I forget. But anyways, yeah, yeah, there's a teal Buzz City, but I got the original Buzz City with Carolina blue and the purple. It's my only Air Jordan hat. It's probably not going to be my only one, but for now it is. I'm thinking about getting the teal with the purple belt with the purple Air Jordan logo, that hat. And probably others in the future, I don't know. For now, it's my only Air Jordan hat. It's Buzz City. But of course, this would be my only Air Jordan 
because jump me because I'm a huge Hornets fan. I just don't know how I started, but I just became a diehard Charlotte Hornets fan. <laughs> Man, I got too many Hornets hats. I need to stop buying hats. I got like 55 hats or something, but here's another one. Only had a bottle of Cranium Fits. I seen this hat a long time ago when I just browsed their hats. I never thought about buying it until recently. I'll get to that later. New Era is the big Hornet. Actually, Harbor Classic. The... I was in the Hickory Science Museum in the aquarium at the bioluminescent fish thing and you press a button and it gives blue light and it illuminates the fish. Well I put my hat underneath that blue light and it illuminated it so you saw just the yellow and everything else blued out. Like that brown, gray, whatever there was all blue and it was yellow. So I thought that was cool. But the reason why I got this matches my generic ASIC running shoes. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I got kicks to match a hat finally. I'm not that type of person, but I'm not the type of person that usually has hats to match, shoes to match every hat. This goes with some Air Jordan like 95, like Air Max 95s or something. Anyways, you can go on Crane Fit's website and it'll tell you. I don't know if it's still selling up. It's yellow gray black goes with the hat I'll show you like my fittings does their hats like that <laughs> um, you know I went to Bordeaux Spazax however you call it Charlotte Hornets snapback the master Air Jordan Bordeaux Spazax the only trusted website I can find is myfittings.com but it's out of stock but I do want that one sir if you got one brand new and you want to sell it to me, please don't hesitate to, in, to PM me or comment. But here's the only hat I got from Hatland.com is Forest and Brand, Charlotte Hornets, um, Night Move, Night Move Snapback. And I leave the price tag on because it says New Orleans Hornets, but it's really a Charlotte Hornets. You can't see. It's really a Charlotte Hornets. It's Force and Brand tagging. Harbor Classic. But, um, see, that glows in the dark, that glows in the dark, and the outline of the Hornet glows in the dark. Because I went to one of the rooms in my house one time, turned off all the lights, made everything pitch black, and it was so cool. I may, if I ever get around to it, do a video of seeing it glow in the dark. Probably not, but I might. It's my first Hurricanes hat I got uh, off eBay, 22 bucks. I got this a long time ago. It's a cool Hurricanes logo NHL sticker. Yeah, it's a snapback. I'm a snapback person. I used to think I was all smart and stuff getting snapbacks because fitteds outgrow quicker. But I'm getting more into fitteds now than I was before. It's Reebok. No. <coughs> You know, it's just, it's a cool one. It has eight bucks, Marshalls, Reebok, Snapback, Hurricanes. And Marshalls has, has a little bit ago started where they got a lot of Hurricanes hat stock from somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> but they got a lot of Hurricanes hat stock, so I actually think my mom got me that one maybe. And I think my mom got me this one too. I got an Eric Stahl shirt to match. Dad had or really any Red Hurricanes here to match these, one of these to match yeah, that one. I I normally wear this one by Eric Stahl's shirt. I don't really know much about hockey. I'm not a huge, huge hockey fan, but you know I got to rep my Hurricanes here in Carolina. I'm a North Carolina person. I live in Charlotte, so why not? You know, Hurricanes, same as the other, I got it in Marshalls, eight bucks, can't beat that, a great deal, it's a deal that's, a bit, that was a, a deal that's a steal, I guess, a steal of a deal, I don't know, <laughs> this is also in Marshalls, Reebok, 
I let the price tag on because it's a $24 hat, but I paid, guess what, it was marked down, I paid $3 for this thing at Marshall's. $24 hat, ah, ha, $24, brand new Hurricanes hat, I paid $3 for this hat at Marshall's. I think that is pretty freaking awesome. You can, if you can find a hat for $3 and it's for a $24 hat, then man, you are in business. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the rest of my Hornets hats. These are not Charlotte Hornets, these are all New Orleans, and they won Oklahoma City. This is a New Orleans Hornets. I've seen this a long, I've seen this all the time in my late South Park. I always thought it was Charlotte Hornets until I looked up close. It's really New Orleans, but I never wanted it, but the reason why I bought it, I bought it on spring break, like the Friday on, we got out of school for spring break, or the Friday, the week Friday after, I don't know, anyways, I got this because that, that next coming Tuesday, I was going to the Blue Man group, and I had to get a Hornets hat to match my blue Nike shirt, my blue, black, white, um, black, blue, and white Huma hoodie, it's got the Hornet there. I don't know what, I don't know what year this hat's from, but it's NBA official license. It's definitely from before 2006 or seven, before 2007. Definitely before that year, because it's got the old New Orleans Hornets line. Mission List Commander Snapback New Orleans Hornets. Got this sometime not too long ago um, on eBay for two dollars less than the Mission List website pays. I mean. um... Uh, has a price, but it see it goes from teal bill to purple bill under bill. I think that's pretty all freaking awesome. Got that, and I wanted to start a collection of hornet hats with every hornet logo, and that's a honeycomb. That's the only honeycomb hornet one I've found that I actually wear. But see, it's weird. It's New Orleans hornets, but it's hardware classics, not NBA official lessons. That's the only New Orleans Hornets hat I think that's Harvard Classics. Because I thought Harvard Classics was supposed to be like 1990s and older. Not New Orleans. I thought it was only supposed to be short. But anyways, I've stopped doing that now. With buying Hornets hats just to have the logo. But that's my first New Orleans Hornets hat I ever bought. It's vintage. Uh -huh. Don't know where yours from. I loved. If you know what year this hat's from, tell me. It's a snapback. K C. Don't know what that means, but it's it's K C. I don't know what brand that is. If you know, tell me. But it's Adidas. Adidas.com. It's a vintage Adidas New Orleans Hornet snapback. I like this. It's kind of flimsy because it's vintage, you know, but I, I really like that. That's a nice hat. And then this one is my all-time favorite hat. One of my favorite Hornets hats. Why? It's a boot. Yes, it's bootleg. And it's Tisa. Tisa doesn't even make New Orleans Hornets. So it's not a real Tisa hat. It's from Hong Kong. But the reason why it's my all-time favorite is it's super ultra rare because I've been trying to find this online everywhere I never could find I've been looking for years for this thing finally I found two of these for sale on eBay one had already been bought and this last one fifteen ninety eight free shipping the same for every single hat listing this dude from Hong Kong had he had two bootleg hats and they were both fit and each one was fifteen ninety eight plus free shipping only two available so I had to scoop up this last one before somebody else got it. But he has the Hornet with the uh, orange H. You don't see that. You don't see no text. It's, it's bootleg. Teaser didn't even make New Orleans Hornets. It's New Orleans because the Hornets fun. And it's got no little lines by the wings and the basketball stuff. And it's Charlotte Hornets colors, it's not New Orleans. But it's green on the brim. It's Teaser. Tasty look is kind of stitched oddly, but this is my all-time favorite, and the snap is kind of bent because of well, it's storage from going to Hong Kong all the way to here, so it took a while for it to ship here. Right? It's got stains on there already. I know, 
It's a white hat. It's got stains. That's why I don't buy white hats much. But this hat you can't find anywhere except for website. Now you can't find them anywhere except for websites that want to steal your Visa credit card money. At least I don't think so. There's another one just exact same one as this. But it's got a purple H instead of an orange H on the horn. But I don't buy, I'm not going to bother search for that one. It's my all-time favorite. It's super ultra rare in my opinion. Snapback. I love that hat. Man, I was damn excited when I had it. Bought it. Here's another one. I normally would definitely not get curved bell hornet hats. But here's why. It's Oklahoma City Hornets. I gotta have at least one of the Oklahoma, I gotta have at least one Oklahoma City Hornets that says Oklahoma City with the horn on there. It's got an H purple underbrim. And it's Oklahoma City. I normally do not ever get Velcro back curved bell hornets hats, but I couldn't find any flat bill Oklahoma City Hornets hats. It's odd as can be, but I just can't. Yeah, I, if you have a flat bill Oklahoma City Hornets hat, I might want to buy it from you if I see what it looks like. But it's Hornets, NBA, Drew Pearson brand, since like 1985, I think it's what it says. Yep, yeah, established 1985, NBA, if you have a flat bill Oklahoma City Hornets hat, please Post a picture or a video of it. Send me a link, and I might buy it from you if you are going to sell it. Please, if you have a, a flat bill Oklahoma City Hornets hat, I might want to buy it from you. Is um, actually I'll get to this one. This is another bootleg. It's New Orleans Hornets. It's meant to be a Shaw Hornets, but it's got NOLA, so I will put it under New Orleans Hornets hat category. Yeah, it's already got a See, it's a bootleg New Era. New Era look should not be on the left side. Or should it not have the little line there. But he had it photo like this, and that's all he had. So I didn't know it was New Era bootleg until it came in the mail. What is that? Of course, no stickers. Got New Era bootleg tag. New Era fits on the inside. I mean, it's really a snapback, but it says New Era Fits on the inside. You can tell that's a bootleg Harbor Classics tag. Funny thing is, you see right in there is a New Era tag sewn in there. Yeah, it's made in China. Yeah. Man, um, here's a Hornet. Here's the Hornet. <coughs> But the reason why I never fold this hat up is because, see, that snap is a little flimsy. I'm afraid that it might, like, you know, come out and stuff. And, like, might break off after time if I keep it folded up. So I take a special extra care of this hat and I don't fold it up. And, but then here's this New Orleans Hornets. I thought it was blue in the eBay picture. But when I got it in the mail, it was really purple. So, but it's, it's Adidas. It's got the Fleur de Lee Hornet. I was thinking about returning it or selling it, but then uh, I'll just keep it pinstripe, kind of like a jersey. It's shiny, shiny material. Black strap. Got the Hornet tag inside. I like that a lot. It's got all this. That's a cool Adidas hat. I mean, you know, you really can't tell, like, from a distance that there's a Hornet on there, but and I'm not worrying out too much. I'm worrying out something, but I'm. But anyways, here's one I really like. <laughs> I remember when I was strictly going for Adidas NBA officially licensed New Orleans Hornets hats. But anyways, um, N O L A. I wouldn't. I want a Hornets hat with this logo in the original colors, but I'm not too big on it anymore. <laughs> if I can get one gray, if not, oh well. But it's a gray blue Hornet. It's got Adidas gray. And then light gray button, blue eyelids, gray bill, blue underbrim, sticker, and it's blue snap. Here's the horn in the inside. Is um I like this tag a lot. It's a hornet tag, it's got the pixel stitching of the hornet. Um where do I go? 
Um, oh yeah, hold up, put these on here. Um, uh, put these right there. Sorry. <laughs> Putting on all my big collection of hats. There we go. <coughs> Put this there and finally get that one there. I got the rest of my hat collection coming up. I'm just gonna get to the Bobcats hats. I only got two. My first one, I got this on sale, Bobcat store. I forget how much I paid, like twelve dollars or something. But uh, yes, the <coughs> excuse me, official 2013 NBA draft hat. Charlotte Bobcats. I wore this every day watching the playoffs on TV and supporting my cats. Um, NBA. Snap. Cool Bobcat logo. This is when they had the New Orleans Pelicans instead of New Orleans Hornets. I don't, I don't, I might in the future get a New Orleans Hornets draft hat, but probably not. I don't even have any Charlotte Hornets draft hats. It's amazing. I'll probably get one in the future though. <laughs> Vintage ones. Here's a Charlotte Bobcats. I picked this up not too long ago from Marshalls. They got all the great stuff where you can find it. It's only eight I think only eight dollars. And it's uh it's an infiltrator, I guess is what the style is. I don't know how much it is, probably like a $30 hand. It's Bobcats. For his brand. It's, of course, NBA official license sticker. I mean, tag Bobcats logo. Bobcats, Charlotte. I like that one a lot. I like it because Marshall's had it. Um, yeah. I'm not a big Celtics fan, but I got this off eBay because I wanted to wear something on St. Patrick's Day. Because I wanted this for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm an NBA fan. So what better than Celtics? Sticker said one four to seven five eighths fitted. I didn't see that when I bought it, but when it came in the mail, I noticed it. But it's gold and green. I like that. It's got the Irish Irish plaid on the brim. Gold uh, Adidas logo. I mean, it fits Celtics tags. I mean, it fits me all right. It's too ten fitted, but um, if I mean, it fits me all right, but it's kind of tight fit. <laughs> so I don't wear it too too much anymore because it is getting fit tight fit. So um, flex fits they go from a certain size up to my hat size are not really ones that I want to get because they're small. <laughs> But uh, anyways, here's, I love this hat, dry fit, tar heels, like jersey mesh or whatever. I've been trying to find this for a long time in my size. I never could, but I do now, and I have one now. I got this at Dick's 15 bucks. Actually, my dad got me this for me working for his plant job. He paid me for this hat instead of money. But it's got this Colgate stickers, cool underbrim, design thing, lacrosse. I like your lacrosse. Got the engineer to the true specifications of the championship athletes. I mean, engineer to exact specifications of championship athletes. Um, I like this hat because you can take, where after I take a shower or it's a sweaty day, I can just suck moisture right out of it. It's a real nice fit. I like it. Um, this dry fit. Uh, right there. I like this. 15 bucks dicks. They have good hats. And there's North, um, North Carolina Zephyr Snapback. North Corley Panthers High School out of Texas. The blue, royal blue, black, and white. They got these same hats for their baseball team, but fitted. Same exact NC logo stitching. North Crowley High School. I want one of your baseball team has the blue and the white baseball team with the NC in size large, extra large. Please hug me up with one of those hats if you can. Thank you. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Anyway, this is a 
So obviously I live in North Carolina. Well, uh, I got a Tar Heel snapback. <laughs> Anyways, that's a Zephyr Z logo. There's a little, I mean, that's a Tar Heel logo. This is Snap, Z hats, tag. And then, interesting thing, this little, I got it off of eBay, but this, this little sticker, ornament, bumper sticker tag thing came with it. Z hats. I like when clothing companies send me little stickers. There's little stickers over there. Anyways, I like little stickers. Never mind. That's stupid. There's a 1984 Tar Heel snapback. 30 years old, people. 11 years older than I am. And it's brand new, unused. It's just been in storage, and that's why it's 30 bucks, because it's got a little bit of fading and stuff, but I don't care. Okay, it's been unworn. What's well, been worn by me now? But it's Tar Heels, green under brim, blue brim, snap, the game. It's the underneath of it. And, okay, it's pinstripe. Um... And it's from 1984, copyright 1984, CCI, ICE, all rights reserved. The game, one size fits most, made in Taiwan, ROC, call gate official licensed products. It's from 1984, people. Another hat from my vintage hat collection. From all my vintage, vintage hats. My cousin Wes is his own hat. So it's been worn out and used, but it's like, it's a 1998 Seattle Sonics. Um, sports specialties hat, green, green, uh, it's like a light green, it's like a dark green, youngin, um, maroon snap, maroon eyelids, button, and like a lighter maroon, or red, it's my only sports specialties hat for now, I'm probably gonna get a sports specialties hornets one in the future, but anyways, and it's, <laughs> West Austin. It has sweats because I've worn it on camp outs and sweated it out. Uh, that's a worn out hat. So, but I still keep it. You know, it's a hat. As a 49ers, I don't really wear this much anymore because the fit feels tight. But, um, I'm gonna get some more light. It's better. But, um, it's all green. Got this from Liz at South Park. Liz Slam exclusive, top of the world. One fit. Liz Slam exclusive, it's top of the world. One fit, top of the world. 49ers. That's my college. I'm gonna go there. Gonna go to CP for two years and then go to 49ers. UNCC and do game design or something. That's my plan. This is a custom from Lids. I've been trying. I want to do Liberty City Swingers fitted. You know, the LC hats that the gangsters wear in GTA 4. The navy blue with the white logo, but um, Lids apparently has like a $60 non refundable fee for their online customization. So, um, I didn't even know about that then, but. It's the best that they could do at the lid store for making the LC. It kind of looks like one of the other ones, but anyways. It's supposed to be Liberty City. It's 7 and 5 eighths because that's the only, that's the biggest size they had for navy blue, but it's lids. Nothing too, too special, but still had in my collection that I'll rock every once in a while when I just feel it needs to be worn. This is um, an auto snapback, customplanet.com. You can make... Custom hats, t-shirts, pens, mugs, keychains, whatever. But you can only make one heat print hat. If you want to just get one hat, it can only be heat printed. You have to get more than one to get. Basically, if you want to get embroidered hats, then you want to do it for your, like your little league baseball, your minor league baseball team, or whatever. A little league baseball team, or high school baseball team, or whatever. That's who I think you do embroidery for, because you can't just get one embroidery. But some of the high school uses this Mustangs, green and white. Mr. Denver Broncos, 
type logo. This Mars, this Mustangs, Mars Park. Oh, I go to Mars Park High School, Charlotte, North Carolina. This gray underbrim. Auto snapback. I love that hat. Got comments on it, school. And here's one that you would never, and you can buy, actually on customplant.com you can buy this hat, but I made a couple different versions, you know, editing the hat and tweaking up the logo and stuff, but you can buy this hat <coughs> if you find the right version. But, um, you can't find this anywhere unless you go to my high school or somehow online, like email the coach or whatever, but... It's a Marsh Park High School baseball team hat. SMU Mustang logo. Embroidered. I think it's the coolest thing ever. A flat bill fitted hat with my high school logo embroidered. Marsh Park Mustang is officially licensed. Well, it's not, but it's the game. The game makes more high school stuff than it does uh, pros anymore today. I think it does. The game. The game. Extra large. And whatever that flex fit looks like the D-backs logo a bit. The A from the D-backs. I don't know. But it fit his black fit. But it fits real nice and lightly. I love this hat. The baseball coach gave this to me. I personally asked for it, went up to him and asked for it. And it's the only one I had in my size. Or else I would have gotten one with the MP that was under our brain, but they only had size small one. That's one of my all-time favorites, too. Uh, you can email the coach and see if maybe you can get a Marsh Park hat, but not that one. That's the only one he had, apparently. But here's an on-field Charlotte Knights fitted 73 Force. Here's the minor league tag. I mean, sticker. Minor league. Minor league. Knights. I mean, new era. Knights. Minor league. You know, I love to hold up. Let me just get tag, tagging. I love the Charlotte Knights hats that are um, the old teal purple ones. Those were a vintage teal purple Charlotte Knights hat, minor league fitted on um, <coughs> on eBay or Snapback, something like that. But anyway, it was on eBay for sale, but it's sold out. And I wish I can find a minor league Charlotte Knights hat. From 1995. I want if you have a vintage seven and three fourths or seven and five eighths or seven and seven eighths Charlotte Knights fitted from 1995 teal purple bill white K with the little purple flag, then show me a picture and I might want to buy it from you. His but his older on field his his old on field Tar Heels fitted seven and three fourths. As you know, I got this South Park lids. I love the older Colgate sticker. It's just all silver makes it better looking. Heel, foot logo, um, NC, new era. New era. Sim 3 fourths. Blue on the brim, blue brim. I like that hat a lot too, because I'm going to. Anyways. Yeah, I don't wear this hat at all, but my dad gave this to me. It's an old Panthers hat. A little flimsy. I don't like these hats that much, but it's Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Official vehicle host of the Carolina Panthers. Like a little promo hat or something, but it's straight back. I've never worn this out. Never will. Probably. Ever. I need to give me a vintage Panthers hat. Or I just. I need to give me a. Flatbill Panthers hat that I would look good in. Yes. Them Deacons. I had this when I was a kid. I used to wear this. I'm never gonna wear this anymore. It's too small. Team Nike. Strap back, of course. Common, low profile, flimsy strap backs. Don't really like these types of hats anymore. But. Yeah, now you're getting into the flimsy part of my collection. The flimsy hats in my collection. As I like to call them right now. Yeah, those two. And 
Uh, hold it. I'm going to show you all of. Well, hold up. Here's one that's not so flimsy. The Vintage Orioles, American Needle Snap Bank, Baltimore Orioles. And the brim it was 50 cents, but I American Needle, but Needle. But see, I don't wear this anymore. I was, cause guess what? I was stupid. I took the snap off, put it on a paper hat, make that a snap back. I was stupid. <laughs> it's part of an 80s or something. I don't know, but it's a pretty awesome looking hat. But I was stupid. Ruined it. Never gonna wear that anymore. But I look stupid with those snap. It's like fitted with a little hole cut into it now. I'm not wearing that hat out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna give me a new Kurt on field Orioles hat someday. But here's my wolf hat from when I was a Cub Scout. <laughs> yes, I was in Boy Scouts. I'm Eagle Scout right now. I got my Eagle Board of Review passed out on 9-11-2013. Had my Eagle Ceremony January 11, 2014. There's an old snap like my Hornets hat. <coughs> There's my Wee Blow hat. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I still have these things. Snap. I don't think, no, there's no tags or nothing inside. It's just, I'm never going to wear these hats out anymore. They don't even fit me anymore. They're too small. I keep them in my collection reminder of Cub Scouts. Damn, I can't believe I had this. A Troop 1 hat. I'm from Troop 1 of Shaw, North Carolina. Flimsy, low profile. Don't really like these hats. But, uh, Anvil. I was thinking about maybe making a flat bill, customized, uh -huh. Pioneer Troop, that's our slogan. I was maybe thinking about making a customized flat bill, tan, Troop 1 hat, but I'm done with that idea. There's another one, I don't know how I got two, but I just do. That <laughs> rhymes. Yeah, that's Troop 1. Represent. Group one, you know. Uh, it's Apache Day, District Day Camp 2006. I was a Cub Scout. <laughs> it's my name written in cursive in there. <laughs> uh, I was a young dude. Anvil, made in Cambodia. 100% calm. <clears throat> Let me just go ahead and put them right there. I'm about done with my collection. Man, I still have more. Um, is I've never worn this, and I need to wear this because my dad got me this. It's a Under Armour Force Camo snap bag. It's really cool. I love Force Camo. Uh, there's a Force Camo Panthers ha uh, tree camo Panthers fit at the uh, Panther store. If I ever get over there, I might get that one. It's Under Armour. I might. Yeah. OSFA, I don't know what that means, but it's a lot of different hat tags and stuff. I, you know what, I think I might wear this to school tomorrow. You know, yeah, I'm going to wear that tomorrow. That's so freaking awesome. Cobalt Tool 500, Tools 500. Professional hat my dad got at Lowe's at his job. Gave to me. Velcro back. Not too bad shape, he's got a little thing like the flatbill hats do. 100% cotton one size fits most main chunk. Yeah, the bill's kind of curved, almost flat. It's like one of them racing hats. And you see the pit stop guys wearing, the pit crew guys wearing with the headphones, with the little headsets. Here's a wing haven hat because I did, I built three comp, I built a comp, big old compost bin at Wing Haven Gardens for my Eagle Project. And later on, they gave me and my dad this hat. Um, as a thank you. So, they love their job. They're using the compost bin right now. It makes me so freaking happy that I help somebody out in this community and help myself towards getting evil. So, HTC head to toe, main trying Never worn this hat out. I probably should though, because I said that I was going to wear this every day, but no. I really should wear this hat out though. It represents 
that I had completed Eagle Jeffrey. Jeffrey Drum was the guy that helped me out in Eagle. He's now fired because some stupid board member from Winghaven fired him for I don't know why. But Jeffrey Drum had his life devoted to Winghaven Gardens. He loved it. He's a real, real nice person. He and I get along well. He and my dad and I are real good friends. I really like him so much. Thank you, Jeffrey, for helping me with my Eagle Project. If you see this video, if you ever do, which I don't know how you would, but, or what, how you'd be interested, but anyways, it's sad that he got fired, but he really helped me out a lot. I like him. Man. It's just when you it's just amazing when you find people in your lifetime that just help you out and are just extreme good friends to you. It's just man, that's such a good feeling. Uh it was North Carolina Powerball promo promo hat from like a little thing I did I forget but <laughs> it's my last hat in my collection. Wonder if caught me in Um <coughs> Yeah. I'm gonna put that there. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna show y'all. There's my whole hat collection. Comp with L. 